It's none of your business to look at me. The mighty ninja, Gomboisa. Gomboisa, up! You don't know how amazing my swinging powers are. How? How do you swing like that? Worm buttholes. But that's neither here nor there. What the hell does that mean? Hey you guys! What's up? It's Master C and welcome to a game called Once Upon a Coma. So, this is a game that I found on Game Jolt. This is just a demo of the game, but it looks like a very beautiful, very awesome game. Um, from what I saw, like, in the previews, it reminded me a lot of Limbo, like, puzzle solving, uh, the 2D, kind of in the shadows, side-scroller. Um, but yeah, it looked like a really interesting game, and I really wanted to get it and play it. Uh, as you can tell from the music right now, it is just gorgeous with the music. Just the whole layout of the screen. Just the little sparkles, the fireflies, the, the cool little tree and the thing swinging in the background. It just looks like it's going to be an awesome game. So I do hope you enjoy this journey with me through Once Upon a Coma. Once again, this is just the demo. So we're going to see what this game has to offer. Let's see what happens. So I am playing on an Xbox One controller and we're going to go ahead and start with a new adventure. Woo! So I've had this um, on my wish list on Game Joel for quite a while, but I just haven't had my setup right to where I actually wanted to play it. So now that we're ready, let's see. Oh, I'm so cute! Dude, this... this limbo all the way the vibes are real but the sound the art style Ooh, i can jump high why do i why do i fart when i jump though that's kind of that's kind of nasty what are all so all i can do is move okay um oh so i can play the piano what is that Uh, so we're already off to a puzzle already. I don't know what we supposed to do. Let's try beg. Oh, because I'm a beg for the answer. Left, A, Y. No, that is not right. Um, can I get anywhere? I guess I can. Yo, the art style on this game is perfect. It's so awesome. It's a little sensitive. But other than that, man, okay, it's so why I guess is to interact. So where am I trying to go? Also, I don't really know. Okay, we are in Reddington Park. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, the art style is just on a whole different level. Oh my god, I could just play this all day just for how relaxing it is. What is that? Locked. Okay, so there's a door there that's locked. Also, I don't know how long this demo is. This demo could be 20 minutes, it could be an hour. That I do not know. Also, I don't know what was going on with that piano at the beginning. So let's see if I come across some hints with that. So far, everything is locked. Hey! Hey, dude! I like your hat! Can I say hi to you? No? Do I have a sword? Looks like I have a sword. Hello! Everything's locked! No one wants to play. That makes me sad. I got into Okam's Barbary. Can I get a haircut? But I like my hair. A message is written on the mirror. Let's read it. C D E C B A C. They really expect me to remember that whole thing? Do I really have to whip out my phone and take a picture of that right there? Because that is a long ass code. C D E C B A C. So let's go. Let's make up an acronym. Or. I forget what it's called whenever you. Whatever, you'll see. So it could be. Could Debbie eat cakes? Because Ariel can't? Could Debbie eat cakes because Ariel can't? Y'all y'all remember that with me. Write that down in the comments below so I don't forget. Could Debbie eat cakes because Ariel can't? Could Debbie eat cakes because Ariel can't? That is the question, everyone. That is the question of the day. Um, 
Pete, don't forget about our favorite place. Pete. Okay, who's Pete? Am I Pete? Lily. Hello, Lily. How you doing? This seems important. Could Debbie eat cakes because Ariel can't? Did I forget it already? I don't know. This place is huge. Hey, let's put on some tunes. Nah, we already got some good tunes going on. Could Debbie eat cake because Ariel can't? Okay, it's right there. Um, I'm assuming that I gotta go back to the piano now. Let's go ahead and head back and do it because I don't want to go too far forward. Like in case that gives me a key or if it gives me, you know, something of importance like a weapon. I don't want to miss out on- Is this my home? Hello! How you doing? Why do I have this piano with this giant pendulum above it? Don't get me wrong, that is badass, but that would kind of freak me out at night, not gonna lie. So could Debbie eat cakes because Ariel can't? Okay, we got it. Where are we going? It's a just a chesticle. What did we get? We got a razor. Ooh. Okam's razor. A straight edge razor with an intricate blackwood handle and a sharp, heavy blade. It aches for a painfully close shave. Ooh, so is this like Sweeney Todd, uh, Demon Barber of Fleet Street? Like, am I gonna use this razor? It is my weapon. Okay. So am I gonna use this razor to to cut some cut some hoes? I can destroy like everything. Yeah, I'm a maniac, maniac with a razor. Cutting beards and mustaches like never before. Uh so that can't pick locks. Locked. Okay. So do I need to go back into the barber shop? No, there was nothing else there. Um. Okay. Is there anything over here? Oh, I can go say hi to my friend. Hello. How you doing? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it's actually you, Pete. So I'm Pete. Wait, was Lily talking to me? What's our special spot, Lily? Yo, what up, Pete? We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma. Oh, so I was in the coma. Yeah, what coma? I don't know. It's been a while since you were awake, Pete. You really don't remember what happened? Nope. Well, I'm glad you're back. I do wonder, though, if you've still got it in you. Have I got what in me? The devil? Man, you've really forgotten everything, haven't you? We used to call you the Slice. The Slice? You have the coolest razor from your dad's barbershop. So, oh, God, what's my dad? How you doing, daddy? I miss you. And? That thing was sharp. Your sister thought you were so cool. That's because I am so cool. Sis, you know that I'm cool. Well, where is she? She tried to be all macho and go find the grown-ups. Ever since they went missing, she acted like it was a huge deal. It's not in my book. So, where are all the grown-ups? Am I not a grown-up? Am I a child, I suppose? Is that all you have to tell me? Can I walk across that? Ah, dang it. Brr, I guess I can't walk across that. Okay, so I'm Pete. Let's check the barbershop one more time. No, nothing new in there. Y'all, I gotta say, the art style... Hello! The art style and the music in this is just so pleasant. Like that windmill in the background. Just that slight little touch of detail is just incredible. <laughs> Hello! Long time no see, Pete. It's me, John. Hi, John. What do you think about my hair? I've been growing it out. Uh, I was gonna say that you looked like a girl until your name was John. But guys can have long hair too, so you know what? It looks great. I think it's fab. Fabulous! I'm gonna be a girl this school year, I think. Okay, good for you, John. You do you. Anyways, I bet the gang will be super glad you woke up. It's been weird since you fell asleep. Yeah? Yeah, it's spooky without the grown-ups here. Lily went looking for them, and then Ralphie barricaded the entrance to Red Fork Field behind me. Lily? Yeah, 
Yeah, who's Lily? Is that my sister? Oh, okay. You know, Lily, your sister, she said something needed to be done. About... It's kind of weird. Ever since the grown ups disappeared, things have been... odd. But whatever. As long as I can eat ice cream and bacon for dinner every night, I couldn't give two farts where the grown ups are. That is nasty. Okay, so why are all the grown ups gone? Okay, that's locked. Yeah, I'm such a manly man with my razor, even though I'm not old enough to shave. Speaking of shaving, I need to shave. Okay, so we're at Reddington Field, so uh, that one guy did a terrible job of setting up the blockade. Hello, oh, look at the bird. It reminds me of Silent Hill. Pete, it's me, bird. You woke up. Yeah, I did. And how is this bird talking to me? I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. You sound upset. Your little sister went to look for the grown-ups. I told her not to, but she ran to the Shillian Wood. Yes, and do. The grown-ups, they're all gone. All of them. They just started vanishing. Yikes. So listen, Pete. Your sister's been gone for a couple weeks. Whoa, Lily. And it can't be good. You might want to prepare for the worst. Let's go find her. Okay, quick. Get me out of this cage and let's head to the Shillian Wood. Okay, I thought that that was going to... Okay. Boom! Come on, Bird! Hey! Yay! It's like Navi, but his name is Bird. Come on, Bird. Hello. Aw, I thought I could bring him with me. So, is there any advantage to breaking the pumpkins and the lights and stuff? Can I break the rock? No. Do I have a health bar? Hello! Oh, hey, Pete. Hey. Oh, oh, sorry. I totally messed that up. Oh, yeah. Hey, Pete. Up here. Do you see me? Yeah, I see you floating around on that ball. It's none of your business to look at me. The mighty ninja. Gomboisa. Gomboisa. You don't know how amazing my swinging powers are. How? How do you swing like that? Worm buttholes. But that's neither here nor there. What the hell does that mean? I swing, swing, swing all day and hide from the spiders, you know. Totally glad you understand. Most people don't understand. Hey, where have you been all summer, Pete? In a coma. You're funny. We all know you were just sleeping in for like two months. Ha ha ha. Doofus poopus. Damn, I'm funny and a ninja. Want to be funny, friends? Hell yeah, I want to be funny, friends. Great. I'll be here being funny and powerful. You should go now. Okay, funny friend? Watch out for the spiders. They started getting worse when all the grown-ups decided to disappear. What the hell is going on with all the grown-ups? And the spiders. Okay, hello. I totally forgot your name. Gumboisa? The ninja? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna kill all these. I hope they're not, like, for future reference for hearts. Hello. What are you? The game is lagging a little bit as well. Um. Is that a whole person undulating? Or what is going on? Hi. Hey, puke face. Get over here and help me. How did that happen? Isn't it obvious, puke? Why are you calling me puke? That's just rude. Oh, there's the clapping noise over the, the dude on the right. I was like, what is that? I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. Oh, most people just say you're fat. Rude. That is just me. Well, what can I do to help? Get me my insulin. Are you deaf? Puke fart? God damn. Those little asses, the spiders, snatch it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. I'm on it. Okay, I don't know your name, but hey, Clappy Dude, what you doing? Watch out for Punky. That's me, Punky. Hi, Punky. Why are you acting insane? Daddy said I should go and find help, but I'm too busy dancing. Do you like my dance moves? Hell yeah. Look at that dance. Ooh, that clap, though. 
Cause I can make your hands clap. Boom, 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 boom. I'm insane with dance. I can hear music in my mind and I just dance pretty much all day and night. Really? Nah. Wanna hear the real reason why I'm dancing? Sure. Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. Wanna know what he said? Yeah, I do. He said if I ever stopped dancing, they would pinch my left butt cheek off and feed it to your mom. Ha 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 ha. You stupid little puke. So the spiders take the parents? Bye. Okay. That was a strange encounter with those people. It's a spider! Is it gonna kill me? Ah! <laughs> Not if I kill you! Or, or hit me! Okay, I don't see a health bar. Another spider! Ooh, ooh, ow. It's a butt! Jump on the butt. The big orange butt. What am I doing here? Is this a spider nest? What is happening? Okay. Interesting, our first combat. Spider! There's a couple spiders. He went way up there. I'm gonna die. Um, can I get some, some health? Is this health? Hello! Yo, they're literally gonna kill me if I'm not careful. Or maybe I can't die in the demo. I'm not doing too hot though. I gotta, I gotta say, there's a needle up there. I see the insulin. I see it. Why is the game getting all laggy all of a sudden? Pete, check it out in the tree. Is that the insulin? Get it, bird. Grab it. Yay! Oh, so you're gonna carry it? Okay. Hello. Hi. Who are you? Hi. Happy last day of summer, Pete. You too. I'm so glad to see you're out of your coma. Well, thanks, it's, it's nice to be out of my coma. You know, I had some pretty crazy dreams. But I'm not sure we'll have school tomorrow with the grown-ups missing it all. It makes me feel emotionally unstable. Where are they? I don't know. My mom went missing and then dad left the next night. Lily says she remembered seeing my dad walk straight into the Shelian wood. Yeah, she went looking for them over there. Yeah, she's so brave. She told me I have to do what my big brother would do, and then ran off into the Shillian Wood. So where is that? You don't remember the Shillian Wood? It used to be our hangout, just across the valley behind me. We built a big fort in the trees and everything. I just woke up from a coma, stupid. Aw, oh, Pete, you used to be so nice and cool. We were all such good friends. It was loads of fun. Well, how do I get there? I'm not sure, but the valley looks a little too wide to jump across, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. I like this field instead. I'll figure it out. You can do it, Pete. Will do. Thank you very much. I forgot what your name was already. Okay, I can't go that way. Uh, so I guess I have to go down into the well. Can I, like, sprint? Anything? No. All I can do is literally chop and jump. Chop and jump. Wait, let me do the pumpkin. So I'm a smashing pumpkins. Hello. What was his name? Pukey? Punky? I don't remember. My insulin. Give me my insulin, McBuck face. Wow, everyone here is rude. Y'all kids need to get some manners up in here. Here, pop me. It hurts so bad. But you have to pop me. Three, two, one, pop. Stab! <laughs> Ew, that's just nasty, y'all. That is just nasty. But we did fall into the well, and that is actually the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Surviving in the indie game industry is tough, and your support means more than anything. Why'd you go away? I wanted to shout out to all like the, the, the people who were working on it. Okay. Well, if you guys want to see like who the developers were and stuff, it was in the bottom left-hand corner and the bottom right-hand corner. Um, But yeah, that was Once Upon a Coma. Very cute, very loving game. Um, just amazing all around. I know it's just a demo and the game probably has a lot of work left to go. Uh, but 
amazing. The art style, the music, the dialogue, just the way that everyone was talking. The story was really building up into something very interesting. Lily, your sister, she's out in these Chilean woods, and that's probably the main objective is to find her and save her and save the parents. From what I understood, what I got, it sounds like the spiders were taking the parents um, to this place. Maybe this is all a dream. Maybe I'm actually still in the coma. That I'm not sure. I actually think this might be a sequel to another game just called Coma. Not 100% sure on that. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure they have a Patreon or a uh, like a like a GoFundMe or Kickstarter or something. So if you guys want to donate to that, check it out. Do a Google search, find it. But I really enjoy this. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you have any games that you want to see that are kind of similar to this or if they're completely different, make sure that you let me know down in the comments below because I'm always looking for more games. But hope you guys enjoyed this. I can't wait for this to be a full release. I just love these, these games right here. They just hold a special place in my heart. So, But once again, this is Master C. It's a wrap. I love you guys. I will see you all in my next video with a big peace out.